So I'm, uh, you can see where I'm standing, uh, more or less diagonal in front of the altar. The chapel of course is in mountain array, so all the statues are covered. I've now put the, micro the camera on top of the computer screen in such a way that I can use this computer as a portable camera. Yeah. So go towards the door, the the entry door which is here, just the common wooden door. And as we come in, as we come into the chapel, this is the altar of Our Lady of Walsingham. We are very, very close to it, so it can only be seen a little bit at a time. There's the altar cross in, in Lenten Array here, statue of Our Lady of Walsingham behind. I built this uh, this altarpiece uh, around about 2004, I mean more or less Baroque cla classical style, very sober, very simple. A little crown, a little bauble I found and a couple of candlesticks. Uh, I turn to the left here, there's a bookcase full of uh, prayer books, breviaries, missals, graduals, all sorts of things here. And then down down below there's a bench which is all full of tools because I've been doing various bits and pieces and there's a sewing machine because I've been repairing some altar cloths recently. Um, here in the middle here I'll take a few steps back. Uh, that's the Paschal candle uh, which uh, from last year. Uh, just to uh, go a little bit closer to, to it, uh, you can see Alpha and Omega. I don't uh, mark the years. Here is a very nice uh, bookcase here with other books in, uh, in it. Uh, the bookcase is from the 19th century and came from my wife's family. And she graciously agreed that the bookcase would be nice in the chapel. Uh, and that's the lower part of the unit and I have uh, a few bits and pieces on a small credence here or um, just outside the sacristy. Now I'll take a few st steps back and uh, that's just a partition wall with a doorway that goes into probably the tiniest sacristy in the world. Uh, here we go, right up on the top there, it's a bit shaky, that's the Christmas crib that I use each year and everything has its place. There's a blow lamp up there that's used for lighting incense, uh, a holy water stoop, a bell, there's an, a, a, little, a little mirror so I can comb my hair just before Mass, the cruets, wine, water, oil for the lamp, the crucifix I use on Good Friday, and then various things like candles uh, and various bits and bobs on shelves below. Everything has its place. You have to be very tied in a tiny sacristy like this. Uh, here's a shelf with the uh, um, various copes, uh, albs, and so forth. Uh, now then, over the West Vestment Press, uh, there's this cupboard here, just a common kitchen cupboard, and I'll open it, uh, and uh, Altar cloths up at the top. Those are the figures for the Christmas crib and various bits and pieces for the particle candle. 
uh, there are a few bits and pieces, oak palms and all sorts of various bits and bobs. Uh, this here it, it was made as a tabernacle but no longer contains the Blessed Sacrament but is used to, to keep the holy oils in it. There we are. I'll close that now. A few statues. Uh, those two uh, cards there are prepa uh, preparatory prayers for Mass, the Venecreata Spiritus, the Codex for Purity, and on the left is the, uh, is the Last Gospel, which I know more in my heart. I'm just going, the screen has gone out. Oh. Just in front here, there we are. You can just about see it. It's not you can't read it, but that's the audio I use for each day. Um, this is uh, my rather nice uh, Baroque chalice. I'll take things off it so you can see it. Uh, there's the cup, a tulip-shaped cup. And the rest are rather nice, uh, a rather nice foot. Uh, there we are. Uh, from about 1830, uh, which was given to me by a dear friend, my ordination in 1998. So, um, here's a monstrance. I'll just uncover it, which was given to me by the parish priest of Boulois in the Sarthe, a rather nice, very early 19th century monstrance. Now then, so we'll turn round here and go out to the sacristy. You can see there's the altar of Our Lady, which I showed you before, but seen from another angle, the windows to the side. Uh, going into the chapel here, looking under the root screen, uh, these are uh, a set of six choir stalls which I make myself out of oak. Um, going a little bit further forward, there's the credence, the missile stand, a pair of candles, uh, the missile, and a little pot for the for the lava bowl, uh, and. Uh, a thurible on its stand, a little incense boat, veiled statue of St. Anthony of Padua, veiled icon of St. Luke, painting uh, an icon of Our Lady. Uh, this one is St. Philip Neri. I had a great devotion to him in my Roman days and uh, have not forgotten the uh, beauty of that man's teaching another statue and you can see the choir stall the the uh, uh, just a minute uh, yes the, the the one on the right there's the inside of the choir screen uh, the the cross and the statues are veiled go over to the other side turn round and those, that's the other side of the choir stalls uh, and a lectern which I use from time to time either for singing something or for uh, preaching if there are a number of faithful whatever uh, a rather a rather ropey and ugly gas heater but, but it works uh, and this is the uh, this is the bishop's throne here, very simple uh, uh, piece of furniture that inspired the design of my choir stalls. And above it, I have the arms of our diocese. So this, is, this represents the jurisdiction of the bishop over this chapel. And I hope one of these days to have the honor of his visit so that he will occupy this uh, this bishop's throne. 
In the corner there is the synchro lamp, which is oil and has a floating wick. I believe in the real thing. Hanging on a, on a very simple uh, bracket. This behind here is the statue of Our Lady. I'll do another uh, show of the chapel uh, after Easter when the statues will no longer be veiled. Here is the, I'm going to take some steps back so that it can be seen. This is the altar which is fairly familiar to readers of my blog uh, through having seen photographs of it. The altar of course is in the lantern array and above it is the hanging pigs. And I'll walk up to, to it and you can see it uh, very clearly. Now what I'm going to do now uh, is to show the chain and then you can see a pulley up at the top and there's, some, there's a length of string which goes to another pulley here, it's rather like on a boat. And then the string goes down to a cleat. And what I'm going to do now is to show you, to show you how it's uh, uh, done. The screen has gone black again. Hopefully it will come back. There, with the mouse. Now then, I'll put the, the camera on top of the computer screen. I'm going to set this back a good long way. So as you can see the, so you can see the uh, the 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 pegs and the credence uh, over on the right. And what I'm going to do is go up to the uh, to the credence. I'll take the string off the cleat and the it comes down like this. I have a loop on the end of the string put that on the cleat and so the pegs can't go down any further than that. I come and get the computer, bring it to the altar, here we are and I'll just lift the veil. Of course the pigs contains the Blessed Sacrament, so I'm not going to open it now because it's well, the, for the sake of reverence to the Blessed Sacrament but that is the pigs which is inside. So I'll put the, let the veil fall back over the, over the pigs and uh, I will now uh, take this computer back uh, so that you can get a good view. Yeah. Just as we were before. And I'll go back to the credence. And I hold it up, up, up all the way, as far as it will go. And just a little, just like on the boat. And the pix is back in its position. Um, I could show you one or two more details of other things in this chapel. Uh, this is this is my, uh, this is the curable I usually use here. A very simple uh, Greek one that I bought in England many many years ago. Uh, there's the incense boat which is here, um, a nice brass missile stand, I'm afraid it's not very clean, there's a, there's a bell, there's a minute, there we are, the bell, this rather, this rather nice sedilia bench here, which I uh, found in an antique market in Paris and got it for a very good price. 
So there we are. I think that's about all that needs to be all that needs to be all that there is to be shown. I take the microphone, the, the speaker, the camera. <laughs> And thank you for your attention and hope you found this this interesting and I'll do another uh, showing of the chapel after Easter uh, with the Lenten array removed. Okay, thank you for your attention.